My name is Armando F. Polanco. I'm the principal man managing partner for Texas Benefit. We're located in San Antonio, Texas. Um, and uh, principally what we do is really we're, we're more in, into the advising role, the brokerage role for self-funded plan more so, but, but in general uh, insurance. Well, my involvement, is, as I just pointed out, is really just understanding the migration, the future patient migration that's going to take place uh, from the United States to places around the world for, for uh, uh, cost containment, uh, but also for capacity. I know that I've been hearing a lot about service and quality and cost. Uh, but the true driving mechanism, I believe, is really going to be capacity. In other words, we don't have enough hospitals and doctors to take care of the, the future needs because of the, uh, the type of population structure, the way it's changing. And so when you look at the lack of hospitals and doctors um, and, and operating theaters, then that's going to take place. And I suspect that's going to be in, in about two years. You really start to see an upswing on that. Very positive. Uh, exceptionally uh, and it's going to be again going back to a very positive mode because uh, hospitals around the world are becoming a little bit more fine-tuned to the to the actual needs I think for for a US patient um, I, I've been very fortunate that I've traveled to seven different countries I've visited over 35 hospitals already on, on some fam tours um, and one of the things that I've, I've been uh, noting and, and, and through a discovery as well is that I talked to them about assimilation and integration and that means that they really have to be able to conform their hospitals into a into a more of a, a cultural acceptance for US patients to come in TV stations you know instead of being in Spanish or in Chinese and it really needs so you have to have some some in in, in English uh, magazines periodicals things like that I think is going to be really uh, important to conform to the new new US market coming in um, so, and also just to add on to that, uh, there's also, it's, it's also going to be a two-way street. The migration more so is going to take international, but there's also going to be some intranational bound uh, type of migration as well. We, we already see patients from around the world coming to the United States, and I think that that's going to continue as well. This is my third year attending the Congress, and every single year I do learn more and more um, for an old fogey coming in to the, into the fold itself. But I do, it's nice because I meet a lot of old faces that have been in, and we continue to share uh, a lot of information. But I'll also see a lot of new, new faces coming in. And with the new faces, there's a lot of um, uh, energy, and, and uh, I, I enjoy that. And there's new opportunities. And that's really what, what this whole Congress is all about, is to find out uh, more information about what's really available, but also to seek out opportunities. And I think uh, all of us have that entrepreneur spirit within us, and, and I think this is a great platform to conduct that business for. Insurmountable value. The, 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 the Congress, uh, the MTA, a Medical Tourism Association, is actually what the vehicle that has brought all these hospitals and all these talents from around the world here into, into L.A. And I, I'm, I'm very pleased to, for three years in a row, to continue seeing all the, the, uh, um, the excellent, uh, very intelligent individuals coming in, in into the foray into this, into this you know, change what we're going through right now, especially in this climate, because when you look at the new healthcare industry, or, or I'm sorry, the new, new healthcare legislation, it's already transforming the industry of insurance already as we go. So when you put that into the mix with uh, medical tourism or international migration, uh, it's, it's an interesting fold to go through. And really what you have to do is to conduct some type of rational context from this fog. And what's nice is to understand that you've got people around you that have the same type of lingo so you can understand which is the direction we need to take. Well, uh, for, for, gosh, a number of good, uh, good advantages of becoming a member. Um, you've got some great publications coming out, um, and you have also resources that you can call the office and ask certain questions, and they're always available. Um, I think that being a member also keeps you in, in tune to newcomers, new uh, members as well, so that you can continue networking. I think networking is really, again, I go back to uh, the word opportunity. You don't have opportunity unless you have a network of individuals that you're going to talk to. And so by being a member, I think it puts you into, into that same arena. Uh, I'm definitely going to be attending next year's Congress. Um, there was a, a, a famous architect in the United States who once said that if you, if, if you pick up the planet, tilt it to a side, and shake it loose, 
um, then anything loose, anybody loose ends up in LA. So, <laughs> what a perfect place to, for, for everybody to, to congregate. Um, and, and I mean that in a very, very um, endearing way because uh, us that are loose, you might say, we're not that old, stoic, well-grounded to, to, to the earth, uh, old ideas. And we're, we're here to look at the new trends and, and, and challenging uh, all those things that we're going to be looking for, but all of us together moving forward on that. Well, good question. We we are um, our firm is tr is transforming as, as well. We're changing the name of our our company. It's taking on more of a global type name. Um, I'm bringing in some individuals. And this is, we're talking about just me personally and what I'm looking for as well. Uh, we are changing the way we're doing things, and so we're we're um, bringing the talent that understands more of the global market. And with that, uh, strategically, we'll be looking at. Uh, innovative ways and not just contracting with, with international hospitals uh, but also helping them to understand how to market themselves, how to brand themselves um, and also bringing in some, some technology uh, as, as well as um, trying to implement maybe perhaps software on how to be able to invoice properly to TPAs or perhaps even insurance companies. So those are some challenges that we have that we're going to be moving forward on. Uh, but I'm already bringing that structure together right now as we speak, as a matter of fact. So I'm, I'm looking forward to next year Congress so I can ex explain some of that that we're, we're going to grow forward on.